also have a few too. Okay, we're gonna do a Afrotech beat. Like a simple basic Afrotech beat and uh obviously gonna share the 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 FLP. So I'm just gonna choose my samples. Uh, I just want I just want some simple samples. Yeah, good thin kick and few Af African sounds, Afro sounds, and then and then yeah, I'm done. I'll be using a. Uh, less less drums yeah, this I'm just gonna use these percussions to create some some moving around of of the track and then so so what i'm planning to do is make a good intro and uh, build up towards the bridge where i'll introduce some some synths then drop after the bridge and leave it there then share the flp okay so Start with the kick. Do this intro from here. Okay, see here. Then I do the bridge at this part, and which which I also going to use to introduce the synth. Then after that, the I'm done. Okay, let's go. So this kick is 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 quite thin, and uh, I like it. It's way different from the, the the Afro kicks you usually get, but it will work for what I'm thinking actually. So I'm gonna just gonna. <laughs> Run and put these percussions, hoping that they'll sound nice. Then, yeah. Okay, I think that sounds good already. So what I'm going to do is going to loop this for since I actually already did. Then yeah. Okay, now I don't like this one. This must be here. This one. So these percussions are quickly just going to arrange them to create a lot of variations. I'm just going to randomly do this so that they don't sound the same. They actually sound like someone is playing them.
here for the now I'm gonna add the shaker now the type of shaker I'm gonna add is just going to be layered on the kick and add some delay which will have the the kick of the uh, the vibe of the kick and then some more percussion. is actually good too yeah just by browsing around i'm actually finding some more dope sounds which i always advise you do yeah this is a good shake so i'm gonna add uh, some delay here and drive delay Take it down a bit. Layer the kick. Good. Okay, that one sounds. This sounds too empty. So. Just proceed. Now I am going to add pad and some sounds. And use this one. And then over the find good pads. Let's start here. Let's try let's try snare this time. That long. This one. So operating on the lower side of the frequencies because you don't want it to be a bright type of track. Be adding some darkness into it. Obviously, I was not gonna use that sound pad. I don't know which pad is good here because I don't actually use them. Let's 
so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually going to introduce the other percussions later so i'm just gonna keep these for now this one only make it sort of the main trying to find a sort of a tone something sort of bassy but okay this particular sound will surely be hard to find because let me check here when I'm actually talking a lot <laughs> don't make much progress on the track
one to the ascent, which is almost base, anyways. Kind of sounds nice. slowly coming together now but of course not not as sure as
I think it's coming in. Okay, uh, yeah. What I'm gonna do is just go and going to add those percussions at some point. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. So I'll add them here. Same time I add them, I introduce this high pitch the sound. Then, okay, let's do it this way. Citrus, just as it is. Type that in. I prefer that one. Do the same thing here. Gonna call for those percussions. Okay, these percussions don't sound good now. guys I'm gonna end it there for now I'm gonna provide the FLP as I said so hope you use it wisely as, as you can see it's, it's just a simple beat it's just a simple beat okay sure